So earlier this year, I shared with you the story of how my apartment was haunted for three days. Um, and I decided to give you an update because I am moving out of that apartment. But since then, more creepy things have happened. So uh, I'm wearing the same flannel that I was in the first video, but my hair is longer to show that time has passed. So, <laughs> things that have happened in my apartment. Um, it's not consistent, like things happen like once every three months, but there are things that shouldn't be happening in non-haunted apartments. So uh, one thing that happened was a clock flew off my wall. And I know people say that and you think to yourself, logically, you're like, oh, maybe uh, the nail head was loose and it just kind of felt, no, it flew across <laughs> my apartment. And then the nail head was very, very large. It was very secure. Also, not only was the clock hanging on a nail head, I had um, like, it wasn't double-sided tape. It was like this little like plastic square that had like super adhesive so that the clock wouldn't fall off. Like the, you literally had to yank the clock from the bottom and then lift it up off the nail head in order to get it off. And it flew like the Wicked Witch of the West, just across my apartment and broke. And to be fair, I didn't really like that clock anyway, and it was already kind of dying. So if the ghost was an interior decorator or something like that, I get it, it was a crap clock. I didn't put another clock up there because obviously it like messed with the ghostly feng shui. So no clock, I get it. Another thing is that anytime I'm in my bedroom, I always hear stuff going on in the kitchen. I always assumed it was my cat, but every once in a while I'll hear stuff going on in my kitchen, like like papers moving, like if, if my cat was on my counter, like it would, it would sound like that, like she's walking on my bills and things like that. But I realized um, not too long ago that a lot of those sounds happen when my cat is right next to me. So unless you're deciding to pay those bills, uh, Mr. or Mrs. Ghost, please don't touch them. What was the other thing that happened? Oh, yeah, um, apparently it is a, a caring ghost. It, um, it, it cares about the way that my apartment looks and how I'm paying my bills. And also, uh, my blanket fell off of me uh, one night when it was really cold, and as it was falling off of me, it lifted back up onto my legs. And I, <laughs> I watched it go back on my legs. So it's a caring ghost, but also it's, it's kind of unnerving when you don't see what's lifting the blanket back onto your legs. So <laughs> that's what's been happening in my apartment that I am moving out of. I'm not moving out of it because it's haunted. I'm moving out of it for other reasons, but um, well, it wasn't a mean ghost. It was a caring ghost. If, if I would have chosen the ghost to haunt my apartment, this would have been it. So I'm gonna miss you, ghost. Whoever has the apartment next, I hope they are as nice to you as I was. I know I said some mean words to you sometimes, but that's because I was cranky and you woke me up in the middle of the night and mama needs sleep, okay? So let's just both take fault for that. Bye, ghost. Thanks for watching the GBF YouTube channel. If you liked what you see, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and then check out more videos from 103GBF.